Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moomoo Outdoors. We are out in Sonoma Coast. We're going to be chasing Lincoln. I'm here with my buddy Nando. Heck yeah. So I'm super stoked that uh, Nando actually joined the real kayakers kayak club. Whatever that means. <laughs> Which means he's got a paddle kayak. Look at that. So this guy here is a Ocean Kayak Scupper Pro. Unfortunately, this kayak was discontinued more than a decade ago, but this is by far the best pedaling sit on top kayak that Ocean Kayak made. One of the best pedal kayaks out there is uh, sit on top wise. So really simple setup. He actually had to install the uh, um, rod holder right there because uh, it didn't come with one, but it's uh, 14 foot long about and it's 26 inches wide super narrow super efficient and uh, if you look at the hull shape it's actually round my stealth is flat so it's got more stability but round hull shape is going to give you speed so i want to try this one day absolutely even though this is a little bit shorter i think this might be as fast as the stealth i took it uh, kayak surfing the other day <clears throat> and it tracks so well it's insane like I would just point it down the line and I didn't even have, have to correct with the paddle it tracks super good super fast and it weighs 50 pounds too which is another plus so you can like literally one hand it on the way to the beach. 50 pounds that's like lighter than the uh, fiberglass stealth of course stealth are a little bit longer I was actually looking for, looking for one of these mint shape but being discontinued more than a decade ago i couldn't really find a one that is like mint shape so i never got one yeah but this one is not mint shape like it, i felt like i was like on a tinder date because i got there and i'm like you don't look like the pictures <laughs> but it floats so it's still good so yeah let's get out there and uh try to slay some linka Can we do a cruise speed test? Cruise speed test? Yeah, I just want to see like what it would look like if we were paddling fast but comfortable in terms of speed. Okay. Right now we're going 3.68. Okay. 3.8. Alright, let's get set up. Today I brought a uh, spinning rod setup. I'll be fishing with mostly high and low setup. So I got a shrimp fry on top and I got a Branson bait sleeve on the bottom. Uh, before I used to always fish with uh, 4 ounce jig head with the swim bait attached to it. This works great. I caught a lot of link out with this. But at the same time, I was losing a lot of the swim bait and the jig head. Uh, because you know it's rocky and reefy down there so to minimize losing swim bait and the jig head I tried the high and low rig like this last time and it actually worked really well so for the swim bait I'm using a long shank or uh, 8 out hook and just a typical shrimp fly on top and I got a 4 ounce weight on the bottom uh, but instead of attaching the 4 ounce weight directly to the leader I'm using a uh, lighter mono line this is a 20 pound so if the weight does get a uh, snack down in the bottom uh, I can just break off the weight uh, and not the uh, the swim bait and the whole leader so that's the idea so good thing about the spinning rod is uh, you can drop it down really fast it really helps when it's windy uh, you're drifting so fast that by the time your weight or your lure hit the bottom your line is at a steep angle but if you can drop it down fast to the bottom uh, you you have a less of an angle so the condition today is really good as you can see it's super foggy uh, but it's like the sun is going to come out soon 
and uh, the swell is uh, 4 feet every 10 seconds so it's pretty flat the wind is minimal it's gonna stay uh, less than 5 miles per hour in the morning and uh, and stay less than 10 miles per hour uh, throughout the day so really good condition today So I got snacked and uh, I only lost the weight. Alright, so we've been underwater for about two hours. I got nothing. I got about a dozen bites, but no hookup. Or well, I had a brief hookup once. That was it. But uh, my buddy Nando is getting all the bites, all the fish today. Alright, so far he's got two link cut and uh, one was released. It was about 24 inch. And uh, he just got this uh, 30 plus. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. That's probably. Look at that. Ooh. Best of the year, probably. All right. You. I'm jealous. I'm jelly. I think it's time to go back to a jig head move. <laughs> <laughs> so Nando just said uh, maybe it's time to go back to the jig head instead of using a high and low like this. <laughs> No water? No water in the hole, but my butt has more water than it used to. Alright, little guy. You know what? I'm gonna keep this guy because uh, I might use this for bait. I'm getting desperate. Good shot! Finally! Finally, I got something on. Man, feels decent. Feels like a, I don't know. I don't know if this is a keeper though. But uh, fighting a fish with a spinning rod is fun. Like here. Yeah, it's a keeper. About 28. I'll take it. Perfect size. I'll take it. It's not a 30 plus, but I'll take it. So, as you guys know, I love fishing for lingcod. I love fighting lingcod. I love eating lingcod. Everything about lingcod I love. But my buddy Nando, he loves lingcod even more than I do. <laughs> He's all about Linka. Huh? You know what's wrong with links? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm using a Branson bait uh, sea slug. The sea slug is the, the fat sister of a sleel. A little bit longer, much fatter. So it gives you a nice and uh, big bait profile. So one bad thing about Netting your link card is they do their death roll and everything gets tangled up. I was getting a little worried for a while that uh, I thought I might get skunked today on the link card. But whoo, so happy. So this is my first time being back on the saddle for over a month now. So for because of some personal reasons I couldn't be on the yak. But uh, I'm back. I got my link on. I'm happy. I am very happy right now. Welcome back, Moo. <laughs> Nando says welcome back. Thank you, Nando. So I like to bleed my uh, large fish because if you don't bleed it, the blood will get into the meat and meat is not as good. So link car, salmon, halibut, I like to bleed them. Um, raw fish, they don't really bleed into the meat too much, so I don't bother bleeding raw fish. But definitely, lingcod, salmon, especially salmon and halibut, 
so the sea lions are right next to me so I'm kind of nervous about breeding the fish right here then I try to steal my fish so I won't keep it in the water for too long night night <laughs> Nando just got another one, similar size. So he's got two 30 plus on his stringer. Look at those, look at those. Look at this, man. Oh, man. That's are you kidding me, Nando? Dude, Why are you like, so greedy? Yeah, honestly, I shouldn't be keeping them this size, but I haven't, I need a bit of meat, so. No, that's fine, Nando. Go, go. Good Here job, there. good there job. Goes. I mean, Nando loves Linka so much. He deserves it. He absolutely deserves those two giant Lincolns. I am number one spokesman for the Link Council. So today they decided to reward me. So he's known as the Link Council. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he almost kicked me out That's right. of the group. Moo has uh, the track record of trash talking Lincoln. <laughs> and he's a secret halibut lover. Not secret, I guess, but... <laughs> Not secret at all. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at, man. Look at this, man. Man. That, I'm so jealous. This is my PB Ling on the right here, for sure. Mm -hmm. This guy. Fish up. What is it? What is it? It's a Ling. Might be a barely keeper. We'll see. Yeah, it's a keeper. On a breast and base sea slug, about 24. Got my go home fish. And maybe smaller than 24. 23. 23. It's illegal. Not very impressive, but uh, I'll take it. <laughs> There's no such thing as a bad ling. <laughs> Nando says uh, there's no such thing as a bad ling. He's trying to make me feel better. So the 28 incher is the one that I bled and it's nice and clean. As you can see, no blood in the meat. But if you look at the uh, 23 incher, which I did not bleed, the blood got all over the meat. So here's my fillet to link cut. And it's gonna go into my ice co portable freezer. Powered by Upes. 
So Nando, what's up? So you got your PB link today. PB. How big was it? Uh, thirty-five point five. <laughs> he is the for sure the link council. Link council. <laughs> today I, I they, the link god smiled upon me. Not always. Sometimes it's hard work. It was kind of hard work today too, honestly. Yeah, I barely avoided the skunk. No, I got my limit, so no, I can't say yeah, I barely no. avoided the skunk. No. No, no. <laughs> Small limit, but I'm still happy. Can't complain, right? Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Nando said uh, no ling is bad. There's no bad lings. There's no bad lings. What's bad is to not catch lings. That's how I feel. For sure. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And go on to enjoy the outdoors.